there is a white door to a Chevrolet in my garage. The dash is still sitting there. Haven't touched it in over a week. I have a shitload of tile in my garage. The F-150 is parked in the driveway right here. The spot over there is empty. And there is a car trailer attached to the excursion, which can only mean one thing. I need to go see a man about a horse. All right, the horse has been acquired. Back to the house. And what horse am I talking about? There it is. There it is. 1976 Ford Pinto, 2.3 liter four cylinder, four speed manual transmission with a hatchback. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Ooh yeah, I can't wait to get started on this project. Ooh, this is gonna be so much fun. Motor's locked up, but not worried about it. Figure something out, but for now, need to take the trailer back and I'll come back and do a little bit more on this. All right, so there it is, my 76 Pinto. Uh, I'm just, can't believe I've got another Pinto again. I, I, I used to have a 71 back when I was in high school and that one met an unfortunate demise, probably mainly due to my inexperience behind the wheel, but she's a four speed manual. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it, it's a mess in here, but, uh, and it got hit by a tree when it was parked and uh, amazingly this thing ran when it was parked but that was 26 years ago <laughs> so um, the motor's totally locked up uh, I can't get the bottom end to spin I can't get the I can't get the camshaft to spin um, so got some work to do on that hopefully I can get it freed up and hopefully there's not a whole lot of damage to it but I might have to pull the motor out and stick it on a stand and start ordering some parts from Esslinger for things and if you don't know what Esslinger is they're famous for making these little 2.3s just absolutely go and oh my god it's a hatchback uh, the first one I had it was a it was a trunk the window wasn't all here the window came to like here and then the rest of this was a trunk but uh, yeah excited what I plan to do with the car is um, I, I mainly want to make it a autocross racer uh, strip it down bare bones uh, just make it fast in parking lot competition kind of things, uh, which I think is going to be really fun to do. Um, I would like to get the 2.3 running and keep that original four speed for as long as I can. And then as I'm going along with the channel and with the car, make some upgrades here and there for better handling, better brakes, better acceleration, etc., etc. Just to make it a fun little project car, race car. I might register it for the street. I don't know. But uh, it's going to be fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I've already, I've already taken the radiator out and all that stuff trying to get this motor to spin over, but it just won't do it. And glove box. I don't know if there's anything interesting in here. Nope. Nothing interesting in there. But yeah, I'm going to strip it out and there's going to be, you know, a lot of pieces for sale. Like, you know, these kick panels here, these door strips down here. Uh, we'll keep... We'll, we'll get rid of these panels, the back seats, the regular seats. Uh, the carpet's really not worth saving. Um, there is, the bezel for this is actually in the back. And that's where the radio would have gone. Well, you know, I don't need this, so I'll be really happy to let that go. Uh, steering wheel's all cracked up, so it's not really worth saving. So we'll have to replace that with a different wheel. Uh, not sure if I'm gonna keep those gauges. I'll probably end up doing something else. Uh, but yeah, there's gonna be all kinds of parts available for this thing as I go along, as I strip it down. Um, <clears throat> yep, gonna be fun. Gonna need some tail lights to backed up. That's if I put it on the road. But yeah, this, this little spot right here, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, that's gonna be interesting to try and fix. Take some finagling with some hammers. Uh, I might keep this chrome trim on here. I just might paint it black. But uh, yeah, these mirrors, they're uh, not really good. If you can tighten them up, if you want them, let me know. Front bumper, gonna go away. Oh, I am gonna want the lower balance that goes here because this dude who over owned it previously, pulled it behind a motorhome, put this thing here, but they had to take the lower balance piece off to make that fit. So 
I'll be in the market for one of those when the time comes. But uh, I'm, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I can't wait to start doing videos with this thing. But I, right now, I cannot let this distract me from getting my Explorer done because I've got to get that done because my son is going to get his license really soon and he's going to be driving the F-150. I know, I know, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. I know, but I'd rather him be in that F-150 than my Explorer or that Ranger really, to be honest with you. But uh, I think I'm going to cut it there. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.